Hey guys, it's Kurt and Sean back here from Cracked Housing Fab. Today we're going to get back to work on Nostal Simplicity. Stay tuned to check it out. Alright, so my dad made this cool uh, coolant line for us. We had this one rubber line here that kind of ran kind of goofy <laughs> and uh, we were going to mount it down and try to avoid the chain and everything but uh, we ended up having this made and this will go in around the engine and we'll still have a short piece of hose but this will really clean things up get this guy off here this is going to look way better for sure if we can get it in there <laughs> <laughs> I think it will that's the right way. Yeah. yeah. You can see that that runs between the chain because we had the rubber hose in there and obviously that probably would have gotten chewn up over time or eventually. We're probably going to have to get creative here. <laughs> we may have to move that chain. Did you try making it smaller? <laughs> no, I think we're going to have to pop that chain off there. All right. Oh. Well, it goes that way, but then it... <laughs> oh yeah, you can't roll it down now. Okay. The chain was moved, but... All right, so after struggling with this for a few minutes, um, we took off the little tensioner here, which we're gonna actually remake with the sprocket later on, but we uh, it'll fit through now. Very close. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. If it wants me, they shouldn't pull it back out. <laughs> Of course, it never works when I turn the camera on. I know. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll come back when we get it. Well, I don't know what changed. There we go. All right, so we uh, finally got it in. But as you can see, it keeps it very nice and clean. And this is the hose for it, so we'll just cut this and slide it on. But this will just, it just cleans it up so much. It comes across, and then it'll meet up with this guy right here. So that way, short, and then it'll stay out of the way when we put the gas pedal here so you won't hit your foot on the radiator hose all the time. All right, so we got the uh, coolant line put in, got the hose clamps on. It turned out really nice. We'll eventually put a uh, little straps on here to hold it, but I mean, it turned out really nice. Um, next is I'm, I made this little idler um, sprocket, like what we did before for the tensioner. We just kind of had these rubber ones on there for a while, but we went ahead and made this. So I'll get this put on. Got some spacers. Probably, I'll have to mess with this for a little bit, but. Anyway, yeah. that's where that goes. So you get the idea that way. Obviously, we can just get the chain, chain tension yeah, right up. Here. And... Yep. So that'll be nice. So. All right. And then while Kurt's working on that, I'm going to get to work on shimming the valves. Obviously, those guys, those of you guys that have 450s, you know that uh, you need to shim the valves every so often, just part of routine maintenance. So this one's a little hard starting when we first got it. So. We're gonna go ahead and get this opened up and check the clearances and see what's going on. All right, well, Sean works on checking the uh, valves. I'm gonna work on making the, the gas pedal for this side. Uh, it's gonna be very similar to our brake pedal we did. I'll kind of show you guys here. Very simple, some little brackets. So I'm gonna kind of copy that idea and uh, make it here. But on this side, we'll definitely have to move it over a little more because of the casing cover. But, so I'm just going to lay that out and see how it goes.
Okay, so I opened up the valve cover and pulled off the inspection covers on the side here. Um, if you've ever messed with any of these Yamaha 450s, you gotta set it obviously, all the 450s have to set the top dead center before you check the valve clearances. Um, and just so you know, um, I checked everything with a field gauge. It checked out fine actually, um, right within spec. And just so you guys know, spec, this is the 2003 um, YZF 450. I would imagine it's pretty similar for most of the five valve heads on these. Um, the valves, valve clearance intake side is um, four to six thousandths and the exhaust side is eight to ten thousandths. So just in case you guys are looking for that and uh, yeah, so we were able to find that and we can tell you guys about it. So good news is we don't have to take off the cams and reshim it and everything. So that's all good. So I'm going to go ahead and get the covers back on and get the valve cover back on and we'll get to work on something else. Okay, so I got the valve cover all put back on. I'm going to pull the spark plug out real quick. And check that out um it seemed like this bike was actually pretty well taken care of the inside the valve cover and the cams and everything looked in really good shape so we just want to check this spark plug out and kind of see kurt's over here goofing around yeah we are not supposed to have fun what? okay um yeah doesn't look too bad um probably could use a replacement but um it's a little dark but, what is it? Dark or need to replace? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we'll get a new one. Kurt says we have to. But yeah, uh, yeah, I guess we'll grab a new one, but I'll throw this back in here so nothing ends up in there. So Alright, so I got the gas pedal arm kind of just set in place here. I'm trying to figure out how we're gonna hook the cables to it and stuff. Um, but basically just a copy of what we had for the brakes. I think Sean's gonna work on tightening the spark plug. Yeah, I'm gonna get this thing good and tight. What's the tor what's the torque spec on that? As tight as you could possibly get it. I'm gonna get the most leverage. Oh. Just kidding. I wouldn't actually do that. Come on. Um, <laughs> seriously, don't like over tighten your spark plugs, guys. Just like snug is all you need because it has a crush washer on there that you know kind of presets the tension anyway. So yeah, don't over tighten your spark plugs. What's next? <laughs> Silence, that's what's next. <laughs> So uh, we took the twist throttle off the bike handle. And we're just kind of taking it apart. We're trying to see what we can come up with to uh, use for a cable system. So gotta come up with some ideas here. <laughs> yeah, most dirt bikes have a, a two cable system. One pulls and one pushes, obviously for safety reasons. But I think for what we're doing, we're gonna actually have like a spring on the, the pedal mechanism to pull it back the other way so the throttle won't stick on us. So, yeah, so we just gotta figure out a way to hold that all in there. All right, so as we work on this here, we have the cable put back on the uh, carburetor. So, we kind of came up with a little idea here. This will be welded to the lever here. And I cut these little slits in here so you can actually get the cable in through that. And it slides into there perfect. So, what we'll do. It'll be welded there and we'll make a little bracket for this to hook. And then this would obviously pull the cable. I think that'll work really well. And we might put a little shield here so we don't accidentally like hit it with our boots. But yeah, I think that's gonna work good. <laughs> All right, so we got this welded on here, but one of us screwed up. Well, actually it was me. This was supposed <laughs> to be up about another inch. So the travel's way too much. So I'm gonna have to cut it off and move it back up. But uh, I think I'm gonna blame Sean anyway. No, it's fine, I guess. So just we're gonna grind it off and move it up an inch. <laughs> okay. Just so everyone wondering, Kurt doesn't know how to use a grinding wheel. Okay. Sometimes we're just a little bit too uh, lazy to switch it from a cutting wheel oh, or grinding wheel. <laughs> so for everyone that said that. Haha, uh -huh. cutting with a, or grinding with a cutting wheel. We know how to use a grinding wheel. 
And by we, I mean Kurt. All right, fixing Kurt's mistakes, take two. I'm gonna go ahead and weld this back up. Now we have it in the correct position and height and rotation. It's good, time to weld it. All right, so we went ahead and re-welded that and got that repositioned to the way we wanted it. Um, obviously you can see Kurt's moving it back and forth. It looks like everything's gonna function perfect the way we want it to. And then we're gonna get a, uh, Kurt's gonna work on making a bracket up for that to obviously be the where the cable end goes into. And so we'll get to work on that. Um, another thing guys, um, so normally we film on Saturdays and this week we were lucky enough to film on Tuesday during the week and then we're gonna make the video and have it up for you a little bit earlier this week, which obviously you'll know that because the video will be out later. Um, so I go to school full time and I just started my job in my career field um, this week. So it's pretty exciting stuff going on. Um, Kurt works full time as well. So we're pretty busy, but we're wanting to make it happen. So um, I say all that to say, help us out guys, leave us a comment um whether it be about not so simplicity about us whatever it may be um the youtube algorithm helps us out the more comments you have and the more you like the videos and all that stuff so if you can do us a favor to help us out and do that that would be awesome um subscribe as well and tell your friends share our channel and just help us get the word out because we're trying to grow our channel and we want to do more builds and we have tons of ideas and all that stuff so we want to do more and we're excited to do more and show you more and there's other stuff we want to do we want to do some riding videos and all that so yeah uh help us out guys subscribe like turn on the little notification bell that way you know when we post a video so yeah and we're gonna get back and put the finishing touch touches on this All right, so we have the pedal all hooked up here. Uh, it worked out really nice, and we actually ended adding this little uh, stopper here. So it hits that instead of putting the stress on the cable. But overall, it looks good. And we're gonna add an extra spring to it to pull it back. And we're going to add a stop here also so it doesn't flop back. But we'll add that once we kind of tweak all that. Let's see what it looks like. And the yeah. starter still clears. Yeah, and then when you go to kickstart it, it, it does miss, it, well, that's actually gonna be there, but yeah. So when you go to kick down on it, it misses <laughs> by a long shot. So we're good there. Perfect. All right, guys, so we're wrapping up for the day. We got the throttle all set up. Very happy with how that turned out. We got some coolant lines done, but everything went very well today. And also, we wanna remind you guys that we have a Facebook and Instagram account. So if you wanna go over there and check that stuff out, we put some cool content up over there. And also, please subscribe and like to our channel. Helps us out, share it with your friends, and uh, don't forget to turn on notifications. And we also still have our stickers for sale. Um, that'll help uh, go towards our bill. Uh, we'll put the link in the description below. Uh, so thanks guys and uh, thanks for watching Cracked Housing Fab. All right buddy, while you were filming the outro, I snuck behind you and put a little bit of gas in the tank. So I should uh -oh. think we should uh, at least try to see if it'll start. Heck yeah. <laughs> I mean, give the people what they want. They've been keeping asking about it and want to hear it run at least. So turn the choke on. All right. Might take a couple of kicks, obviously, obviously uh, but it should have filled up the uh, carburetor bowl by now. Actually, give us a couple. Of... Cool thing about these carbs, they have a little pump in them, so they pump gas into there. So let's see what we can do.